This is a YJ Jeep. It's not like CJ where it's Citizen Jeep. YJ evidently has no uh, no meaning behind it. Some people call it the Yuppie Jeep. They're recognizable because of the square or rectangle headlights. The grill is kicked back slightly different also. YJs first come out in 1986 for the year 1987. We're gonna get the CJ wipers also at a diagonal. Also YJs. Had these bumperettes. That was the idea of the bumper. I think uh, CJs, YJs, and these are also adaptable to TJs, but I don't know that TJs were released with that. Jeep wheels of the 80s. It'd be some step sides with trim right here, but I need to address some of these issues like this. And on the other side, I'm gonna need some welding done first. This is the fancy trim for them. MacGyver's Jeep has the paddle handle, not the lever handle. CJ door, also on the YJs. Mirrors that not many people like. Half doors that came with it. The hard top has the shorter vents. I think that's the first year the vents are introduced. And I always thought there was a vent on the inside, but there's not. I think it's for the honeycomb spacing that's provided in here to allow I think it's up to here to allow heat out the soft top that I don't know how to take care of because there's just stuff everywhere these are not the right lights also this crappy paint job it looked better when I didn't try to do it in the, in the cold weather it's supposed to look like the chrome parts I can't afford chrome MacGyver has these hooks in the front here all of this was black this was black plastic. It didn't exist before. The entire Jeep was a gloss black. I had to buy these bumper ends. The YJ's got the swinging door. Struts. You might see a latch from time to time on the CJ's and some of the YJ ones. Your spare tire stopper. I don't know if they do it now, but long ago, they would have the new models for so and so forth, or 1987 and a half, that kind of stuff. They were selling the year before, and that's how you have a 1987 and a 1986 episode of MacGyver when it first appeared. And I remember my dad saying, what? There's, where's the round eyes? How come it's got square eyes? I remember my mother also saying, I will get you a Jeep. I will buy you that Jeep if that's what you want. And it happened 30 years later, but that's all right. After scuffing everything up and cleaning it off, there was there were labels all over the place. There's still some stuff there, which I think looks kind of cool. It looks used. I spray painted it with primer black or flat black, depending on what was available. Then I hit it with the espresso brown. I gave it a silver dusting so that that way it would look uneven and rough or beaten up like it's been on its adventure. And then just lightly hit that with the next color over it, the burnished metal brown, just in light coats to hide the silver, but still look like it's starting to come off. I wiped it really good with a rag in certain areas, so I would take some of the color I had just put on there off, like right here. Phoenix stickers that are probably uh, not on his Jeep anywhere, but I thought it was cool. I put them on the left side so that when I drive up to the gate at the Phoenix Foundation, they'll just wave me in. I don't need my pass. A lot of this stuff I hunted all over the internet until I could find it. Like these were cheap. I think they were like 12 bucks. The tire stopper was cheap and traded me for next to nothing. It was five bucks. I think he said I could have those because he just wanted to get rid of them. But for the most part, once you get to the hard top and the doors that'll fit the hard top, it starts to look like a MacGyver Jeep. I was leaving this brown for a long time. Once that becomes the right color, it starts coming back. To, these little details start hitting your mind where you're not aware of it, but your brain saw it kind of thing. And then that requires you to dress like MacGyver too when you drive this. Because if you were had a Batmobile, you would dress just like Batman too.